apparently on the boat landing because we just arrived on the first island. This island is the beginning of our road to recovery. My name is Claire and I will be your guide. Why don't we start with a quick tour? The road begins at the boat landing on the first island and traverses a total of four islands before arriving at our destination, our virtual home. Each of the islands has a theme. Let's take a closer look. The first island is all about food. Here, we will go shopping for groceries, take them home, and then use them to prepare breakfast. We call the second island Puppy Playtime. Here, you will have a chance to adopt a puppy, take her home, and then spend some time taking care of her. The third island is focused on our garden. After planting a garden, we will go back and harvest the vegetables and use them to prepare dinner. The fourth island is the home stretch. Here, you will have the chance to get out into the community and help some of the less fortunate islanders by volunteering at a soup kitchen. That will take you to the end of the road to recovery, arriving at our virtual home. Since we are most interested in working on activities around the house, we will be spending much of our time there. So, let's take a closer look. Our house has a fully stocked kitchen with a working oven, sink, refrigerator, freezer, pantry, and lots of cabinets. There is a bathroom with a walk-in shower. The living room is very nicely decorated with comfortable seating and a beautiful fireplace. French doors lead to the backyard with tropical landscaping and three garden beds ready for planting. On our second floor is an open balcony that overlooks the harbor. It leads to the master bedroom which is nicely decorated and has a large walk-in closet. This view is what we call your player dashboard. It will show your progress along the road to recovery and help you keep track of the rewards you earn along the way. You can see lily pads along the road. Each one represents an activity you will perform as you travel down the road. To go to the next activity, simply click on the Start button. I'll take care of everything else. You will first need to choose your virtual self, called an avatar. You'll then have a chance to practice using your avatar to interact with the environment in a simple activity. Let's go to the selection window, where you will make your choice. 